Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we'll be looking at net income on the cash flow statement. As we do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos, I'll give you the actual definition, and then we'll go on to look at some examples and give you a little more insight. And net income is a company's net earnings for a specific period of time, typically quarterly or annually. Net income is calculated by taking revenues and adjusting for both cash and non-cash expenses. The net income figure is found on the bottom of the income statement as well as the top of the cash flow statement, and is an important measure of how profitable a company is over a period of time. For this example, we'll be looking at the Walmart Stores Incorporated cash flow statement. We'll also bounce over to the income statement in a moment. The first line on the cash flow statement is simply the, the uh, starting line for uh, the cash flow statement being the net income figure. And this will be true for every cash flow statement you ever see. And that's always uh, out there under the uh, time period. In this particular case, looking at January 31st or, or the 12 month ending January 21st, uh, 2012. And it was 15.699. Billion dollars, we just call that 15.7 billion dollars. Now, let me show you exactly where this comes from. The net income line is simply uh, taken from the uh, income statement as the definition stated. So, let's quickly uh, jump over to the income statement and show you where that's at. Okay, here we are on the Walmart Stores Incorporated income statement looking at the same annual data here, not quarterly, uh, because we're comparing apples to apples here. So, we scroll on down, and the bottom line is uh, actual net income on the income statement, and you'll see it's 15,699. Okay, so you can see this is sim simply the same number taken here and moved over onto the cash flow statement. So let's look back to the cash flow statement. Here we have it. And you can see it's right there. All right, the main thing about the net income is that it is the net income, and the net income actually uh, includes both cash and credit activity, uh, and as well as having uh, deducted. Uh, non-cash items uh, from the net income figure. So what the cash flow statement does is it uh, weeds through that and uh, corrects it all and just tells investors exactly how much cash the company generated and the different methods that it generated it and also how much it spent and the different uh, ways that it spent that money. And it's important because investors know that you can have a company that shows a net income and yet still goes bankrupt because they don't have enough cash on hand to actually run their business, continue running their business. So it's important to uh, uh, think about that and that's why it's important to look at the cash flow statement. So let me show you some little uh, details about the net income figure on the income statement that we're going to be uh, correcting. So let's go right quick to the, the uh, income statement again. Jump over there. <coughs> Alright, you can see that the net income uh, uh, that we have reported at the bottom of the, net, uh, the income statement as well as on the top of the cash flow statement begins with total revenue. If you've watched the tutorial videos, this is uh, just a review for you. And those of you who haven't watched the tutorial videos going over the income statement, recommend you do that. But in case you have it, uh, the total revenue here is all the money that the company earned uh, over a period of time. In this particular case, we're talking about annual data, so it's 12 months. Uh, we're talking about 12 months ending January 30th, 2012 here. So all the money that the company earned for this time period. However, with accrual basis accounting, what we uh, are looking at is any money that we have earned over that time period. But that doesn't necessarily mean uh, any uh, uh, all that was cash. In some cases, people purchased um, items, depending on the company you're looking at, uh, may have purchased items uh, on credit. And in those cases, we would have accounts receivable and we would get paid for them later. Well, the total revenue here on the income statement doesn't account for that. It just says this is everything that was made, cash and otherwise. And then from that point, we start to work through it and uh, deduct costs of those revenues and, and things of that nature to end up with the, the uh, final uh, item being the net income here. So what the cash flow statement is going to do, let's flip back over to the cash flow statement, is we're going to adjust that figure for those items. Okay, we're going to start to uh, take out certain things like I mentioned receivables. We're going to deduct receivables from it because those are not items that actually gave us cash in that time period. We're going to get paid for that later, so we're going to take that out of it. And we're going to start to alter the net income figure through the cash flow statement until we ultimately conclude able to conclude exactly how much cash the company generated or didn't generate or spent uh, for that time period or didn't spend and, and we're going to be able to look at the company and see whether or not they can uh, maintain their business practices because cash of course is king and if you don't have cash you can't uh, pay your employees and you can't pay the light bill and things like that so um, you know being able to report a net income is great but is that net income something that is capable of sustaining the current business model and that's important to know so we're going to be setting the cash flow uh, statement to figure that out and that's important uh, 
actually some investors will consider this the most important uh, uh, statement that they can look at is the cash flow because again cash is king right Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.